Welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently on the show floor at Snowflake Summit at Data IQ, where I am delighted to be joined by Catalina Herrera, field CDO at Data IQ. It is such a pleasure to have you on the program today. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you for having us. It's so great to be here. Look at this. I absolutely love any opportunity to sit down with Data IQ. You are pioneering everyday AI, helping everyone in an organization from technical teams to business leaders. What trends have you noticed in 2024? Well, let's start with the sentence that you say, everyday AI, because that's our mantra, and everyday AI means that more and more people is using AI without even thinking about it. And that's definitely a trend. I will say that generative AI is part of it. And as a trend, I will say that more teams are experimenting with different LLMs and seeing what they can accomplish, but most importantly, it's like they are eager to use that on structured data that is targeting those enterprise use cases. So as a trend, I see more people empowered by the technology, less technical, mm. savvy guys, but empowered by something like generative AI using LLMs, experimenting with LLMs. But I also see the next level of it, which is the so what. How are we going to operationalize this? How are we going to keep the human in the loop? What it means to have hallucination on one of these models? How do we govern this somehow? And that's part of the trend. I also see a lot of opportunities to actually rationalize tooling and reduce that uh, total cost of uh, ownership, TCO. And I think that itself is going to maximize the opportunity for the investments that all of these companies are doing actually in the cloud. So cost, balancing right. that cost with this new tendency on generative AI that everybody wants, right? <laughs> so high demand for it. Really appreciate your perspective. It's an exciting next chapter. Catalina, the AI data cloud ecosystem is clearly all around us here. How does this platform power insights for your customers and how is Data IQ allowing them to meet their ever-changing needs? Spot on the sentence, every changing needs. And I think that's exactly it. How do you remain agnostic of those changing needs? Because if we think about the last 20 years, the one for sure change is that infrastructure. 20 years ago, CPUs oriented and all of that, we are moving into more GPU demand, vector databases, different storage in the cloud and so on. But at the same time, I think we have been learning that collaboration is the main component of this. And it's ever evolving as well. Cases, always. So how are we going to ensure that we know what we are doing as a holistic team? It's not only, hey, I'm going to produce a piece that is not going to tech communicate with anything else. We need to ensure that whatever we are doing is part of a framework that is going to allow us not only to collaborate, but also to scale and to think bigger and to allow these teams to have some kind of feedback as we, oh, let's get better at this. Let's retrain this model that needs to be retrained, but now we have a framework to do so. So more it. and more empowered people with different backgrounds and different expertise, but at the same time maximizing the opportunity of all the investments that are happening around. Now, if you are going to invest in a good infrastructure, make the most out of it. And it all starts with the proper data foundation. I absolutely love the booth. My last name's Green, so it drew my attention here. <laughs> I love it. I mean, what are you hearing? What are you seeing here? At well, Snowflake a lot Summit? of traffic. We have very cool uh, demos and use cases. We invite everybody this week for sure to stop by. I actually recommend this one very much because we are having a job party that leverage all the generative AI capabilities that we have, but adds a layer of uh, Olympics topic. So very like timely. I know, right? It's combining two of the very cool things around. Uh, at the same time, whenever this is done, I mean, there is always webinars that are constantly out there. We're always showcasing our partnership with the Snowflake, for sure. There are a couple of webinars out there that are showing how to be up and running with generative AI in less than five minutes. Wow. Where, I know, like, give me a chat box. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I want to talk about the Olympics. Okay, let's get it, you know? So it's, it's a very telling, the amount of data outcomes that we can produce orchestrating these different components, empowering these users to have an everyday AI, extraordinary people, which is actually our mantra. How do you make extraordinary people? You empower. Such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud Thanks. Now. Before we wrap, how can the audience learn more and what excites you? First of all, the web, datacool.com. We have a phenomenal academy website when we are constantly teaching new 
assets, new features, the webinars that we do with our partners are also very telling. And I will say that keep an eye on everything that is coming in terms of what's new because the empowerment happens when you actually understand the power of the so what, what it means for me. And that doesn't happen if you don't have an effort to read the blog or read a paper or go through an exercise. The time is now and this is the moment to understand what this brings to you and to your company. Well, Catalina, such a pleasure. Thank you so much Absolutely. for joining me on no, Data Cloud Now. Very nice to meet you, Ryan. Thank you so much. Absolutely.